what's up guys looking to bro beats today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a beat in fl studio mobile if you guys haven't subbed already or turned post noise on make sure you do so because it does help the channel a lot let's hop right into it my bpm is 110 all right um so this is going to be a little bit more difficult just because there's a lot less features than the regular versions but we're gonna try to make a a same type of beat all right that we will make in the regular version so i have some drums i pulled up here all right, just some drums from my kit, and if I can actually show you how I got them in here. So we went to edit, and I just load up a random kit from this FL Mobile, and then I just replace them by clicking this. And then I have my samples in here, which I just kind of dragged in. All right. Now, so let's go ahead and just get started, because it's not really much to even do. So let's click here, uh, let's go to Direct Wave, and guitars let's see it's not playing it's not playing there we go all right so we can use this guitar put a clip in probably about this length we're not going to do like a super long uh clip all right so Let's go ahead and go into the piano roll, go to edit, and I'm going to just close all this so we can focus on this. So I'm going to show you how to actually make a melody just by ear. So basically what I like to do is just pick the low tones first, okay? And your ear will pretty much do the rest. So uh, let me try to find a good spot. I just want to pick a decent bass line. So I think what I'm going to do is probably go to start here and just kind of fill it out play it and just whatever you want to hear next i'm um, kind of go with that so this is super loud Maybe we can do it like this. Okay, now for this note, probably go down here. Let me pull this out on the way. Let's play it. So now what we want to do is add tones above so you can literally just play it over now this this part is going to be very tedious um i know but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so so i like this note so i'm gonna put it in try another one up here um so i'm gonna just go ahead and do this i might fast forward or whatever just to get past this part so let's go ahead and i'm gonna just go ahead and do that All right, so let's check out this whole melody. 
or these chords. All right, so I like that. So now let's move on to the next instrument. All right, so we got our chords. So now let's try to um, put another instrument down and just modify the chords. So go direct wave. We can just try another, another guitar. All right. Probably go with this nylon guitar. Pull this out. Actually, just copy this over. We're just gonna modify these so that they kind of play similar to guitar, not really. So we're just gonna move them back. Just mute one. Actually, just turn this down. Kind of pan them as well. So what I just did here, basically we're just gonna mimic this on the other ones in the same order pretty much. So the second one, move it back. And then the very top one, move it back. Actually, both of them for now. And then always put that bass note back in there. Probably something like this. Throw these up and then we can just scoot that one back. So all you have to really do is just use the, the notes from your chords, right? You don't even have to add extra, which we will, but for this, it's, this is fine. Got another bass note there. And you can get really confusing, especially when you have all these notes. And I can actually. So I'm gonna zoom in and kind of flam this. So I'm gonna hold this. Probably go like, uh, go try one of these really small ones. Just kind of scoot it. Probably go like one six step, maybe. All right, let's go back to. I think I was on once one half of B. I think. Yeah, let's kind of come back up to finish the melody off. So see how this sounds. We have to adjust some things, but we'll see. All right, I like that. So here's a full thing. Probably turn these up a bit. All right, so now let's move on to like the counter melody. Uh, I wanna go for a flute. All right, so now we're gonna do our counter melody. I wanna go for a flute sound, but if they don't have that, we'll probably just do like a lead or a piano. Um, But there's two ways you could do this. You could do it by ear with its own like, it's in its own piano roll and just start from scratch. Or you could actually make it in here so that it sounds good. So you know it sounds good with uh, your melody. But I'm gonna do it the, the harder way, just so because that's probably how most people would do it. But you can also just make a melody in here and then copy it. So let's just go and see if they have um, a flute. And 
probably be an orchestra. All right, so pretty normal flute. Test that out. Um, so we were on. Start here. Probably go a little bit higher. I want to move these over and I have to adjust those two probably got up with sound All right, then we can copy this. All right, so I like that. So here's the full thing, the full melody. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the 808 and the drums. All right, so let's go ahead and start on this 808. So what we could do is just copy our chords, pull them down. Now, with, since we did everything by ear, and we're not for sure what notes we're using um exactly uh, what you could do is trial and error the first note and it would kind of help you so usually you would just copy the bottom notes but that's that's when you know exactly what notes you're using so you have to trial and error this first part so we could just start at the bottom no okay so that one sounds a lot better to me Let's pull that one down. And then we just use these notes. And obviously you don't want to use this one. Obviously this is the same exact note. So let's try this one right here. Let's pull it down 
one whole octave. Just listen to it. We'll just use that note. All right, so I think that'll be a good pattern. So I'm just go ahead and chop this up. Let me zoom in. All right, so with these chops, I'm gonna probably pull them up an octave. Try to get the right note down. Where are we at? Then these. Pull this up so we can kind of copy everything and then pull them down an octave. Okay, I like that. So now let's move on to the drums. Okay, so we got the hard part out the way. So let's go ahead and do the drums. It's pretty easy. Um, so let's go in here and fit this clip. Go to edit. And now I do my hi-hats separately. Um, I do one on an even grid, you know, one fourth, one, uh, one half beat, whatever. And then one for triplets, if I wanna do triplet hi-hats. All right, so that's like a way that you can um, do some triplets. So let's just get this bass stuff down. So let's do the kick, clap, clap. I'm gonna just put down stuff. Okay, I'm just fast forward kind of through this. Play some regular. All right, so that's just a simple way it's really i feel like this is a little bit easier to do in here than it is to do in a, um the rail fl just because the notes are a lot larger and easier to kind of like see what what you're doing let's go ahead and do these uh, hi-hats so what you want to do is click and hold on this little icon and then go to add notes track and it'll bring up a separate track and what you want to do is click here create a clip same thing as normal and go to edit and then now you can put your hi-hats down and I pitch one of my hi-hats down so it could sound like a triplet as if I was using it on the piano roll. So I'm gonna go in here and just make a, just, you know, just a normal pattern up here. So I put one here. So I'm gonna probably just fast forward through this a little bit. copy and paste it pull this over so now we got our top so now for the bottom we want to click and hold this magnet icon all right and you can go to one six or one third you just start with one third and you just place it um, down anywhere and then one six and probably drag them in do as many as you need i think this is good enough See if we can see how that sounds. Okay, so we can do that. And we just copy this, honestly. Copy it. 
and we could do a different triplet over here click that magnet go to one third and then i like to delete the in-betweens it was like a slur triplet all right so that's pretty much it for the hi-hat so now let's play the whole beat and i'm sure it's going to need some mixing um, but I'll probably mix it a little bit and you can just hear the preview at the end, but here's just the full beat. All right, so this is gonna be it for this video. Um, had to do a video with FL Mobile because I know a lot of people watch my videos use you know different DAWs and a lot of people use FL Mobile so shout out to the FL Mobile user this is not easy to do especially on your phone um, but yeah that's it for this video make sure you guys like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one peace